The second we stepped uh, on the old course on Sunday, everything changed. That was the coolest golf experience I have ever had. You look around, you realize where you are, and like how cool it is that we get to do this for our job. Rick Shields walks on water out here. <laughs> <laughs> that night, that night immediately goes up there with it. It's, I mean, it's there. Jupiter Jacksonville, it's no, there. It it's right there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Another edition of the Bob Does Sports Podcast. We are still in Scotland. We've been here for five months. So <laughs> here we are on month five. Bob Does Scotland. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> now, I, I will start out by saying the second that we got this trip into Rick Shields' hands, who you know we were collabing with, we were. Go- I mean, this thing then just took right uphill. I mean, it, it really, he has been... From a hosting standpoint, just his crew, how much fun they've had. Once we got in his hands, we were we were golden for this trip. A little touch and go in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for I'll, sure. I'll take, I'll take ownership on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I think until Sunday night. Uh, we got here, what, Sunday night? Right? Oh. The second we stepped uh, on the old course on Sunday, everything changed. Yeah. It did. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. would say. That was, I mean, I know FP for you, for sure, for all of us, actually, for sure. That was the coolest golf experience I have ever had playing the old course. I mean, it was un between just warming up and we had all these people around us, some fans, but also some people that just come just to watch yeah. people tee off was incredible. Um, and then us walking up 18 with the sun going down at the old course How special. was probably the cool. I mean, I, I don't know if it gets better than that. No, I, I'm not sure it does. I mean, that that was that just yeah, the weather that we had, just having all of us and the time of day with the with the sun behind us going off the buildings. That that was and just like yeah, like you said, the whole town's just still sort of like it's, the whole town's just going on. Like lives are being lived all around you, and it's just like there's no other place where there's just all that going on in one little area. It was um, it was quite something. To me, the the cool thing is just you know. I know press said it, it was a little bit emotional. I, I, I think the cool thing for me is just I remember when we used to play and we were playing like dog tracks and just trying to get going. And then you look around and you realize where you are and like how cool it is that we get to do this for our job. It's yeah. sensational. I, I can't imagine, you know, a better a better job where we just get to go and golf. And now we're getting to play courses like this. It was it was it was awesome. It was really, really cool. Wish I would have played better, but. Yeah, but we, we you guys played it on Tuesday. We showed up. We got here Sunday, and we're like, "Fuck it, let's just go see the old course." And it's um, on Sundays anybody's allowed to just walk on. That was so, cool. Not to play, but just to walk. Like there's no golf, so we just walked on. It was it was the wildest thing. You just you like turn the corner yeah. of this like old little town, and it's just like right in front of you. And you just roll on. So we walked eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, right, and then we walked them back. Eighteen, by the way, is the coolest hole I've ever seen in my life. It is the widest fairway of all time. I almost Did everybody it. hit it? Yeah, you almost missed <laughs> I it. Almost, <laughs> yeah. I almost, and then, I almost killed a couple and then people. We met, um, and then we met Rick, and we went, was it that night that we went out, or is it the next night? It was that was same that night. night. We went for dinner, and we had dinner right out, right, right on the... Right. right, and then Rick took us for dinner, like, above 17, right? In, in, oh, yeah. In, yeah, and then... And then he's like, we, because we, I think we thought we were just gonna like come see St. Andrews, go to bed, start playing golf like the next day. And then that was it, that it was that first night before any golf, right? Yeah. 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 And then he took us to a bar and then another bar and then the other bar. By the way, <laughs> the other yeah. Vic. Um, Vic went off. Rick Shields walks on water out here. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is, he, he really is. He, he's like a, they treat him like a god out here. I mean, it, it is St. Un, it is un, Believe it. even when we had him, we will get into the Guinness Challenge. But when we were getting ready to do the Guinness Challenge, we needed to get glasses from the bar. And I think Ticket went in there. And he's like, "Bob, bad news. Like, there's only paper cups, something like that." And then I said to Rick, "Rick, uh, unfortunately, they're only going to let us do paper cups because he wanted to do it the proper way." He's like, "Oh no, they'll give us glasses." And then he walks out with the four glasses, and they were like Guinness pint. Glasses. Yeah, this guy. It, it's <laughs> and, and I just I I. I'm not just pumping the guy's tires as a host. Everything that he's, a, we're about to go over to his place. He's got a surprise for us. He's given us five different surprises he by has. now. 
I mean, the best, the best too is he wanted to show us the sausage roll so bad, and I knew, <laughs> I, I knew Perez wouldn't doesn't wouldn't normally eat that. So when we went to do the review, <laughs> Perez takes a big bite out of this thing, and Rick's so curious to see what we're gonna say, and I'm just watching Perez, and Perez goes, it's um. Salty. <laughs> I was cracking. Bob up. gave his review. He goes, "It was like a six six yeah, And Rick's was. like, "Well, that was a little disappointing." And then Perez just looks, "I don't like it." <laughs> I gotta be honest, I don't like it at all. I was never gonna like that. I mean, yeah, I felt bad. I, I couldn't lie to the guy though. <laughs> it's an eight nine. Why don't you have another bite? Oh, it's good. Yeah. No, eight nine. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, he's been amazing though as a host, even just showing us around. He sent us an itinerary of things to do like while we're here and it was like go into the sea eat at cheeky nando's go to dunnevin bar <laughs> and yesterday he'd been ke keeping track of like all the things that we that we've done and he's like yes yeah, check to this check to this we still haven't done this and you boys need to do that it's it's been it's been a lot of fun he also i mean he also hooked up the best five best court so yeah. far the four best courses of some of that we've ever seen yeah, yeah. and he said like even the one that we're playing today, he said it's even nicer than St. Andrews, yeah. um, which is, it's just, that's hard to imagine. The thing for me that's been the coolest thing is he has like a team of 20. I mean, actually it's, it's how many, maybe eight people. Yeah. It's 13. 13. To, no. Total. Not, not, not here. here. They, but they have 13. a team of 13. Oh, oh yeah. But, but here maybe he's got eight, eight people yeah. with us. Yeah. Eight, yeah. The way the two groups have meshed. I mean, their guys they, are great. They're fucking awesome. Yeah. I mean, they really are. They're a blast. They yeah. get it too. They oh, just get it. That first night out we had, and then we haven't gone out since. Like we've been doing dinners and stuff, but like a drinking night out. So we'll do tonight and tomorrow. But that first night we went out with them. Oh my god, it was fireworks, man. Ed, Matt, Sam, all those guys—they're just hysterical, and they and they can drink. Those oh, guys. I mean, yeah. I don't know if it's something about Europeans they can just put back beer, but like. They, it's like sometimes we, when we go hard, like we don't go hard often, but when we go hard, I feel like we can go with the best of them. I feel like we would be tough to keep up with some of these guys. I, I would agree. Oh, that was, man. that was a, yeah. Eye opener. But like, for, yeah. Bob came back with a thing of shots and I thought that was going to be it. And then all of a sudden, I thought the night was winding down. Their guy, Sam, came in with a tray of like 30 oh, shots. God. I was like, okay, this, I guess this is where it's going, but. They know how to have fun, man. They're they're cool guys. That night, that night immediately goes up there with, it, it's, I mean, it's there. Jupiter Jacksonville, it's no, there. It it's amazing. right there. Everybody brought something to the table. Yeah. So there was a stretch outside where it was just. <laughs> I would crack a joke. Perez would crack a yeah. joke. Their guy would crack. It was just bang, 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 there was, bang. There was a lot of like howling laughter. Oh, I mean, everybody was just howling was the whole night. It was so funny. It was like a uh, it was like a scene from Goodfellas, like when they're yeah. at the table and it's like that type yeah, of laughter. Yeah, exactly what it, it was. It was like that, and people were coming up. Like people at the bar clearly noticed it. There was like a group like that started like showing up around, just like what the fuck is going on? Oh over here? man, it was oh so fun. We were chanting well. at one time. <laughs> oh. We had the shots. We were saying oh 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 oh. And I was just looking around. I was like what is going on? This is the first night. It was supposed to be just like we had a chill dinner. We went to a really nice place that was right off of like 16 uh, or start of 17 on, on St. Andrews. And we had like a really nice dinner and red wine. It was like refined. And we we're talking about like all the courses and what we were going to do. <laughs> what? What? Refined what? dinner. It's just refined. It was just a funny word. It was, it was, it was, would you, would you not it agree? Was refined. It seemed very, yeah. like, compared to what we would do. <laughs> and he's out when I start giggling. It's, you hear ticket, just ticket will be behind the camera. Just, he always he just goes, Pum. <laughs> and he, gets, he can't help it. And then it gets me well, laughing. Just the word "refined" with us is, yeah. well, that's what is I'm a saying. funny it was, pairing. It was not something that we were used to, and then it went from that, and it transitioned to an absolute, you know. Yeah, it was. Oh, I, I left, but yeah, there was. It sounded like it. <laughs> oh, you know, it was funny like when though? we were on the pod talking about all the great times. Like, oh, the ticket wasn't there. The ticket wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. Just add it to the list. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sorry, Tick. Oh man, I love you. <laughs> I've been there for some of the things. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the things. You know what's also crazy is that, you know, when we play with a lot of these guys, like we'll talk with the production crew, like, ah, what do you, you guys get out and play golf a little bit? And they're usually like, yeah, here and there. You know, I like to I like to take some cuts. I've talked to every single guy on their team. I think their production team, 
could wax that ass oh, on the court. Oh, oh dude. dude, they're like they're Perez sticks. level. Yeah, they're, they're, Sam, yeah, said Sam he thinks he could take oh, it. I saw his Instagram. He's got a swing oh, on him. He's like a, and he was talking about. Town. He said he's like a scratch. I, he's close. I said to Sam, I was like, Sam, you know, seeing when he when he told us how good he was last night, I was like, is it hard for you to like watch me and Joe and like some of the golf? He's like. Oh, mate, it makes me throw up in my mouth. <laughs> he said, I, I had a little sick in my mouth. <laughs> 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 it was so funny. So he didn't even hesitate. Like he wasn't yeah. in the shoot. He's like, "Oh, mate, like I throw up in my mouth." They're it's all terrible. they're all street shooters. They all just talk. Ed is one of the funniest yeah. guys too. Ed, oh. Ed, this Ed you just is. look around and he's like military style, like hanging in and like the the oh, field was. and with the camera, you can't even see him. It's like a Bengal tiger getting Ed's ready like to the pounce. American sniper. Yes, just like get him some camo, man. Oh yeah, my god, is. this guy is everywhere, but right in front of you. You just can never see him. I it's think unbelievable. too, like in their videos, I think they're so funny to where like while they're behind the camera, I'm always talking to them. I tend yeah. to like talk to the camera guys while they're going. At first, they didn't know if they should like say anything or not, <laughs> but then you get Ed involved and he's even helping us film. I like him talking in the video. He's one of the funniest. I mean, this guy's all time. He is. He, he's. He, he, I think. I think he's, he's a lad. He's a lad. He's a lad. He is. He's a proper lad. And I, <laughs> I think he's. I think he's clearly the MVP of the show. Oh, yeah, it's not yeah. even close. And with all due respect to Rick and every and everybody else and to us, yeah, that guy is unbelievable. <laughs> if he if his if he says any like anything he says is the funniest thing I've ever. Heard. <laughs> Every single thing he's ever said is the funniest we were thing I've ever. All heard. banged up the first night. He got up at eight in the morning and was swimming in the sea the next day. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. Too. I got up and I went to go get a cup of coffee and I walk outside and I'm. So so out of it i'm so hungover and i look across the street and ed's there and he just gives me the big wave and i'm like where the fuck was he? his hair was all wet he jumped in the ocean <laughs> at like seven in the morning i'm like what the fuck is wrong with this guy yeah, oh a, my god it's character just, it really and then i think one of the funniest things because we've had like an inside joke going about it and it finally got on the table the first time. i think we were so hammered that it got on the table and rick loved it when we had rick on the podcast he talked about playing St. Andrews, and he was like, you know, not only did I play St. Andrews, he paused, he's like, I played it in reverse. <laughs> so, Or he played on a Sunday. He played on a Sunday. On a Sunday. So we've had that running joke going, like, every, we say that Rick Shields does everything in reverse. Because <laughs> to me, I didn't know that that's part of, like, the St. Andrews course, that you can play it in reverse. So when he said that at, at, during the podcast, you could probably see my face. Probably you too, Joe. I was just like, "What does that even mean?" Play? Like I <laughs> thought when he said, "How would you do it, that?" Now that I've played it, I, I I don't know. Would you tee off? You tee off on you, the greens. You, oh yeah, you wow. tee off next. Yeah, you 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 first green seventeen, last holes eight, like last green's eighteen. So you go eighteen green to seventeen, which green. is the way the course was ori originally made. <clears throat> Sixteen to seventy four. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It, it's oh man, and to be honest, like you know you could definitely appreciate the history like you don't really have to be a huge golf fan to be on that course and know that it's just like iconic but you, you told there. him didn't you tell him you told him the bit and he thought it was the funniest thing ever right yeah, yeah oh, we yeah. told him the bit and he thought it was fucking yeah. hysterical <laughs> so once then it was like then the floodgates yeah. completely opened it yeah. was oh my god on a sunday on a Sunday. <laughs> no, 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 he didn't play St. Andrews on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, and um, th that was the thing, too, is he went into, like, a pub, and he got to play it on a Sunday, and he, he told the guy that the guy at the bar that he had just played on Sunday, and the guy did just exactly what Perez <laughs> just did. He's like, not only did I play it on a Sunday, I played it in reverse. <laughs> and, you know yeah. what else was, was wild at St. Andrews was, that, I mean, we talked about the fans being there. We were walking up 17, and you hit a shot like a approach onto the green and he got the nicest everybody was at the the jigger. Inn next door the jigger in and he they just started clapping yeah, it was the most golf it, applause claps it's at at the old course sound yeah. way different yeah, than they do at yeah. at anywhere in the u.s bob and i didn't get any well, claps no unfortunately and fp gave them like a nice wave and just kept <laughs> it, it, was just, it was like they, they, it was the it was the classiest claps yeah it was crazy they were all in like no one knew each other but they all just get just got fell game. right in line oh, to a good scottish man. clap unison yeah. yeah dude i was, was standing special. on the green you sounded like rory coming in <laughs> on a sunday dude at, at it, was, the open. it was cool man it was wild perez yeah perez went first and he he hits the sticks <laughs> and they do this unison clap 
And then I came up. I have never wanted to hit a green so bad and then hear that applause. I mean, it just looked like... And then the, the wave you gave, it that was just absolutely sensational. It really was. Um, What's your favorite course that you... I mean, obviously, I think old course number one. The rest are probably tied, to be honest. It's yeah. like the old course. Well, apparently, else. today's course, Kings Barnes, is supposed to be by far the best that we played. Yeah, according the, like the nicest, Rick. like the nicest. According yeah, to Rick. if you take all the the history out of it. Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of people will talk about St. Andrews. At least the people that are into you know ranking experiences and courses and stuff. It's St. Andrews is a great experience with with a you know kind of a decent golf course as far as like setting it you know it's very flat you don't have the same views that we got it you know yesterday at crail yeah, or Dunbarney, awesome. but you know you you can't it's still like as far as like a lynx challenge it's very good um yesterday was really cool at crail golfing society yeah, both those amazing. courses were were awesome i think Dunbarney, it's newer but this you know that the setting and where you are is unbelievable to me, yeah, on setting, I would rank Dumbarney first. Yeah, and apparently Kings Barnes is, is that on steroids. So, um, I'll yeah. tell you, you guys might not come back to Crail after whatever happened on the second hole yesterday. That uh, was the most horrifying golf experience of my lifetime. I, 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 nobody. I mean, you can tell the story from my person. I thought it was fun. I didn't realize how how like how it crazy awful. it was. It was there was shit going on everywhere, man. Tell, tell what happened. So this course, for whatever reason, I I, I guess it's one of the oldest courses. I, 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 like I think it's the seventh oldest like golf course in 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 the world. So like all the holes like kind of intertwine yeah. in like many areas. Like you'll be on a green which is right next to a fairway, and then another tee box is crossing another fairway. And we were on the second hole. It was me and Bob versus Perez and, and Rick. And Bob put one into the beach, so we couldn't use that drive. And then I put one even further, but on the left. But it was it was in play. So, you know, this is a normality for us that we don't necessarily hit straight shots. So we go in our, in our, in our, they call it a buggy. Um, and we go down to get our ball and there's just shit happening everywhere. There's two guys on the tee box right next to us. There's people behind us. There's ladies coming into us and we were in the line of fire and we we're trying to film and do something. And this old Scottish this guy was not in a good mood. He he clapped at us like bad. And Bob looked like he wanted to crawl in a hole. In I, I was a deer in the headlights. Because what, what, <laughs> what made it worse is you then were pissed at them. Well, and, yeah. I mean, it's, you know. And I just wanted to get out of it. What started it was I was driving. And, and when I went over to this hole, I just had no regard for I didn't see that they were teeing off right beside us. So I, we were right in the middle of the fairway. We had our balls there. I couldn't go back because then there was another crew group coming to the side. <laughs> so I couldn't go back. So we were stuck and we couldn't just hit our shots because we had to wait for the camera guys to get over to us to film the There's shot. We could do. So while we're waiting, this guy's just teen off on me. And then Joe's getting pissed at him. <laughs> I well, the guy who's who, the guys who should have gotten pissed were the guys on the tee box. Yes, and they were actually really nice. Uh, I agree. The guy behind us I, was a prick because he couldn't even shoot yet because people were on the green. Yeah, so that's he, why he, I got upset. You know what? I'm like, what can I'll we be do? honest. We made I made the mistake of going into that fairway. That guy was out of line. He was. He he was, and, and I kept giving him the the I'm I'm so sorry. It it was terrible i just we also Bob could not wait to hit his ball i couldn't team. wait to he get out of there back. When, when you guys made it back to the fairway he was like pacing back and forth. he's like worst worst golfing experience of my life worst golfing experience. he's like it that was awful. moment was he was rattled dude. i was shook I, yeah. I really was and i think it'll be hysterical but I, I i was really shook and also we couldn't even see the flag no we, we had, had no idea no where we were going clue where the hole was you just shot and tried to get i out. just picked up a club he's like bob we gotta get a yardage i'm like joe a we don't know where the hole is b i don't give a fuck what i have i'm getting this out of here um sam and matt were dying they were cracking up which made me feel better that they weren't as worried and then the Godfather, Rick, had to go over to them and just like apologize. It was like they apologized to him when he went over. This guy walks on water. <laughs> it, it's, but I was, I was really, and, and then it took me a few holes to kind of get back into it. I was really, really sure. It's something about, um, you know, if if you get into it with somebody in the states and in, in America, it's different. Like you know, you kind of know how to maneuver it. Doing it in Scotland, where like they just like respect the game yeah. so much and like that type of stuff 
it enhanced it for me times ten because you don't want to disrespect. You don't want to disrespect anybody, but especially out of here, you just don't want to disrespect these guys. Yeah, and they have to. You know, it's it's hard to even communicate because everyone like the sayings and things. Yeah, like the casual sayings are different. So you, like they could say something to you that like it's like sarcastic, but you don't right. even know the like the what yeah. the phrase they just used. So you're just in this like, you know, you just apologize. You just you sit there and apologize. And I mean, yeah, it was tough. The course is running back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> So, you know, you got a hole that's coming. Our hole's going out. You got a hole coming down. And you got another hole coming up. And then you got a tee box coming down. <laughs> and Joe somehow goes across all of it. And, yeah, it was a terrible shot. And just not knowing the course, not really maybe looking. Um, you know, when you drove off, you got to look up there and be like, am I, am I crossing anything? So, <laughs> oh, we didn't look at anything. Yeah, he just he just went. And, we were, back and we were parked. I think if we had walked, it would have been different. But we had the buggy. <laughs> Right, the cart was yeah. right in the middle of everything. I mean, look, if you would have looked at all, you would have let the ladies go. Yes, hit, yeah, totally. Then you would have gone across and looked at the other guys, let them go, and then get to the tee. That would have taken a minute, yes. right? And it would have been brutal, <laughs> but... We looked up and we realized we were in yeah, the crosshairs. I looked, and we were like, oh my yeah, God. I looked back and I saw that you guys were already there, and I was like... <laughs> Oh no! Like <laughs> they didn't look at anything. If they're already at their ball, they didn't look at. And anything. exactly after that whole, Bob's like, "I'm not driving." I just got fitted for the Paradigm Super Hybrid. Go nice and high. <laughs> you do it better with the iron or the hybrid than you do the iron. Yeah. And you could put some more loft on it. Like I mentioned, it's got the adjustable hosel. August 8th with the fine folks over at Callaway. If the driver's acting up a little bit, you could go to this bad boy right here, titanium in this thing, and boy, does it fly off the face. Get yours August 8th. I, I switched to yeah, yeah, the I, yeah, I, I was shook. I really was. Really the rest of the I was really, really, really shook. And the thing is, too, Joe hits it so far that when he hits it left, the ball goes such it a goes long so way. Far. So on a link style course, like you could find yourself yeah. on a completely well, different. Well, it's the biggest hole. piece of property on that whole play. It's like if that's any other normal golf yeah, course, gone. you're you're in another county <laughs> yeah, hitting yeah. it that far left. Yeah. You're you're over the trees, over a pond, and into another set of trees that far left. Rick did say just, left is fine. Yeah, and yeah. yeah Do you know how many left. balls I've left on these courses? Balls that were so easily <laughs> findable that I just didn't want to go over yeah. to go get. I and Joe that. will Joe will go out and he will go he'll get at me like if it's over there I'm just like fuck it like let's just keep it moving and I don't want to deal with all of that that was my worst nightmare but when I saw Sam their producer on the uh, behind cracking He's up crying it did up. it that mellowed me down a little bit so I was like all right well if they're not worried but it was while we're waiting this guy's just teen yeah. I don't awful. I can't even I recall told you what, what the guys what Rick told me the guys said right what no. did he say when when Rick went over and apologized to them like when we were done with the hole they had like gotten up to the green there we go. he's like I'm gonna go over and apologize to him and um he comes back and you guys were like was everything fine he's like yeah no worries no no problem at all and he gets in the cart with me and I was like so how did that go and he's like He's like, not so good. He was oh, are you like, serious? He told us it went great. <laughs> yeah, I know. What did he say? Jeez, what did he oh say? Oh, my God. He told me last night. I forget what he said. <laughs> he walked up. The guy's just like, that's my fault. Like, don't be mad at them. It's totally on me. They hadn't played the course before, and, like, I didn't tell him where to go. And he's like, well, by the judge of their move, it didn't seem like they've played golf before. Oh. oh. The guy was a prick. He was an absolute oh, man. prick. Oh, and I maintain that. Dude. <laughs> That guy can kick rocks, man. Oh. Like our golf swing? <laughs> like your etiquette. Your golf etiquette. Oh. That guy can, yeah, like. Bob's rattled all over again, man. <laughs> I ain't rattled. Dude. You're definitely that, not that guy was That was guy was this. That guy can kick rocks. But that's what was making it harder for me was Joe was then getting pissed at him. And I'm like, Joe. He's being aggressive with us and we were being like, apologetic. No, Normally when at, you're apologetic, somebody would be like, okay, he was coming at us harder. you know what, though, Joe? I'm like, you're, who you're is in, this guy? He doesn't own the course. You're in foreign soil. You just, you abide. You, but we both apologized, Bob. Thing, no, no, we Joe, were not. Joe, if you were them. If you were them, oh, you would be would losing your mind. mind. If somebody apologized, like, what's this guy doing? Like, we're trying to play yeah. a hole. He doesn't even look at it where I'm going. <laughs> I was over my correct. ball. I had to back off this guy. He's not even on the right hole. Has, has yeah. this guy yeah. ever played <laughs> golf before? It's 100% true. You've got that thousand. smirk. You know. You he know. Knows. It's true. <laughs> but I wouldn't have been mean about it. Oh, Joe. Uh, looks I like, probably would have cracked a joke or two, but I don't know if I would be mean about it. I was over the ball. 
Oh, you would have oh, told Rick. You would have hit a bad him. shot. You yeah. would have blamed it on him. Yes. And it was 100%. Like, if I didn't have to back off because some idiot can't hit a fairway. And then you would have told Rick that it seems like they've never played golf before. <laughs> I don't know if I would. That's such a Scottish jab back. Oh, yeah. She hadn't played the golf course before. Oh. Seems like they haven't played golf at all. Man, on cool. another note, though, oh. yesterday, I think, and I told Bob this morning, I think the second video that we did yep. on our channel might be the best video we've ever filmed. Jed hates that, but I agree. No, no, it is I true, but he won't. He won't stop saying it. You must have said it. it. I gotta. You, you I gotta just let it. Happen. I gotta get ahead of it. Just let it happen. Hundred times. You, I think there. I'll be honest. I think their crew was like you kept saying it to them, and they were like, "Why does he keep saying that?" I don't think us? he said it that many times. You said it forty-five oh, oh, oh. times. I, I think it was like actually thirty-four. This is gonna be the best video ever. But besides that, it will be the best video ever. Because Rick Shields got sauce. <laughs> yeah, he did, yeah. dude. He, yeah, he, got, he I committed. Mean, I mean, it was a uh, Guinness was challenge. Yes, Guinness challenge. Oh. Which we, like I said to Bob, we do challenges all the time, and they always, they always hit. They always do well. But you take the setting where we're in the seventh oldest golf club in the world in Scotland, gorgeous, serene, like um, you know, backgrounds, and then you got Rick Shields, just. He was like one of us. He was like part, of, and and then but the blast. more progressively hammered we got, it was like I was talking to him like I would talk to Bob. I'd be like, "Oh yeah, Rick, go ahead there, put it on <laughs> in now." And Bob was just cracking <laughs> I, I, up the whole Joe, time. We had those. What are those Irish caps on? We decided like yeah, the Bryson little, hats. The little, the, yeah, the Bryson. Yeah, yeah. And to see, like at first, I was like, "Man, Press, like that looks sick." And then like <laughs> we got to the fourth hole, and I said to Press, "I was like, man, I was like, I loved it in the beginning. You're looking more and more." ridiculous as, <laughs> as the beers and then cuts he has it on he's got his sunglasses on it made everything 10 times yeah. funnier looking around and having those hats um he was he was he was fun in the in the cart too I bet was he, he really was goofy as hell he was getting like reckless with his like because he was getting very aggressive with his driving. driving it was it was it was pretty funny we were we were we were laughing our asses off oh in the car god he was he was we had so getting after fun. it and we won't we won't give away what happened but this didn't get caught on camera because it was so quick and i wish that it did and near the end Cutsy ticket somebody says to Cutsy like Cutsy, what number beer is this for you <laughs> Cutsy looks at him and he goes this is my <laughs> and he just spoos it. Did you guys get that? Well, no, no what happened so. was so we were all huddled together talking about what beer we were on. I was getting an update from Perez, and Joe was about 10 yards in the other direction yeah. on his cart, holding just the cart, holding the cart with feeling, his arm. I was feeling faced it. Faced in the other direction, yeah. and he just goes. <laughs> And then I think he was he was over there clearly trying to keep it together. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then he was he was forced to speak and it yeah, was, it was the last talk. it was the last straw and that he just when, it was over. <laughs> and then I think it's funny. <laughs> Cuz he does the face whenever he's getting ready to throw up where he goes the <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You, you know he's getting sorry to bring it up but there, there was a time we were working at the four seasons where oh we all Damn. go for a manager outing and we go to the first bar and Cutsy makes a comment that gets us kicked out i won't say what it was but he said something that got us somebody overheard him he, he gets us kicked ridiculous. out and everybody knew those Cutsy that got us kicked out it's at a manager outing so we had to go and it was a great bar everybody's having a blast oh but but they hear him and the bartender boots us out of there so we had to go to a new bar we go to this shittiest bar and Cutsy was going drink for drink with this guy who used to play football for north carolina big old boy and they're going, they're pounding. And I look over at Cutsy when we're at this bar, and he's sitting on the booth. And I look over at him, and he's just here, and he's just going. He's <laughs> <laughs> in the bar? <laughs> I, oh. And then all of a sudden, dude, it just goes. <laughs> just up. <laughs> dude, it, projectile oh. just flies. Oh. It just soared out of there. It was, it, but you just know when he's getting ready to, to, to throw up. But man, bro, he was so drunk yesterday. He started calling Rick a bunch of different names. He oh. was saying Ricky a lot at one Ricky point. Bobby, R yeah, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> he turned to me once and he goes. Let's see it drive at a Rico. 
Because I called him the Godfather. <laughs> I called him the Godfather. <laughs> I see Rico. I see what Rico's got. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cutsy in those challenges. Yeah. I wish, like, even when we do a four man <laughs> scramble, just get Cutsy drunk and oh, just yeah. watch him go. It's the best. <laughs> it, it's the absolute. Yeah. I was already giddy before we yeah. started, and that's like. That's a recipe Take, for what did he what did he call him? Rico? He called him Rico. I called him the godfather of golf. I said the godfather, so I called him Rico. Uh, uh, Let's see you drive at a Rico. <laughs> <laughs> at one point too, I asked Rick if he knew what Stonkyville was. Yeah. He dude. looked at me like, what the fuck? He was treating Rick. Was he was treating Rick like he was you. He was like, I like what I'm seeing out of you, Rick. Oh, like, the same yeah, stuff he says dude. to you, he was saying to Rick. It was he, Rick wild. wanted at the eighth hole. He's like, oh, I made like, let's just take like a 20 minute break. And I was just like, what the fuck? Well, we had two groups on our ass. We sat there and just drank and just talked, and everybody was pissing like five times. That's where it where it happened. Yeah. That I, I do think, I mean, look, not to set the bar too high, but the fact that Rick's in it, the fact that it's Guinness. It just like it's so like that we're in Scotland. It's just such a funny it really we is. Played, collectively as a group, we played well. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they'll see it when it comes out. I, I think we've the been... The drunker you got, the better you played. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's because I'm not thinking as much. I'm just swinging. thinking about golf. At no point was I wondering where we were at. <laughs> Are we on pace? I didn't give a shit. No. I, like, oh, I got to get a golf shot now? All right, I guess. I'll, you were struggling with one. those Guinnesses. Yeah, I don't like them. Really? Yeah, I don't think, I don't think it's very good. You know, I don't like much. So you took Breaking. one for the team, though, Man, and that's like that sausage. Did you hear yeah, me? I would giggling? rather have had like a tenants. Did you hear me giggling when you were doing the sausage roll? Because I just knew that. <laughs> that, you didn't. that was a big. I've seen sausage rolls at it other courses. Big, that was a big deal. Oh, that was a, oh, Those were also shit. sitting like on the top of a mountainside. Yeah. Like it, it was pretty fun. Me and the there was like the Scottish, Scottish cattle in the back. The yeah. ones that I <laughs> had seen fun. at other courses looked more like a. Um, like that, like, blanket? Yeah, or like the um, the like uh, apple thing from like uh, from like McDonald's. Yeah, like that little like the kind small of flat yeah. apple yeah. thing. Big with, it's just sauce. It was a burrito. Yeah, it looked like, like a burrito. Oh, it, it was huge. It, it was yeah. it was it was huge. If that didn't do it for you, you know what did do it for us? I don't know for you. Those meat pies and those macaroni meat pies. Oh, yeah. Oh, Scottish man. pies. Those are great. We got to get some of those it's over. Macaroni with, pies. Yeah, it's yeah. a great snack to have at the turn, yeah. too. It, it, you could take it on the go. We it's gotta really, get some. We've of kind those of bounced in, in back States. in the food department. The and those yeah, pigs. yeah, we have those candy pandas. N- Nando's oh, Perry Nando. Perry. The chicken, cheeky like Nando's, cheeky Nando's, cheeky Nando's. So Nando's has been it's like our Scott. I'll go back tonight. It's like <laughs> you guys are three in a yeah, row I'll, now. I'll do that too. Yeah, I, don't I mean, it's, <laughs> I know exactly what's gonna be. I know it's good. We've taken too many chances this trip. I'm not. I'm not prepared to make another it's one. like our scottish vetoes yeah it is Kinda it's like is. a no-brainer we'll go there every single night <laughs> um yeah man it, it was i do think too like i think europeans in general like they don't like they they don't really do like appetizers and side dishes and all that so when these guys hear us order like the first yeah. night like rick was shocked that me and you started with the caesar yeah like even that and then like even yesterday cutsy ordered an entree for up for me and him to split like we had both of our entrees and then cutsy got an entree to split <laughs> macaroni and cheese which and, was really good yeah it was great and rick was like dumbfounded by, yeah. by what we were doing oh, you know what else is this is a heroic podcast performance by us four given the the, cir- the, the circumstances? The mora- not the morale, but yeah, the... You guys uh, are dropping like flies out here. <laughs> the, sl- the lack yeah, of sleep. I, I'm, 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 I think I'm, we're all ill, by the way. I'm bad. My I'm, I'm ill. I'm sure. not ill. I'm sore. <laughs> oh, I'm ill. From walk- well, we're walking today, I think. I think... I think yeah, I know. That's going to hurt. I think, <laughs> I, I think it's oh, just been a lot of sure golf. But, oh, yeah. love. I mean, don't love that, but love that. Yeah. yeah that's, St. Andrew's walk got me. My back's just, just killing me. Really? Yeah. Just go for a and massage. Then I, and then, you know, I played 36 yesterday. Yeah, that's a lot. That's that hurt. Help. That's a no. So I'm, um, I'm, I'm. Friday's gonna be hard. But yesterday but was clearly but I'm excited. the toughest day. Like it was like the peak of like between him having to play 36. We were there all day. The Guinness Challenge being the last nine that we played. That was it's gauntlet. Still had fun though. Oh, we had a blast. <laughs> yeah, I don't think saying. I came out. I've had we've had days like that where you know not to complain about what we do. That's not what I'm trying to do here. But we've had days that like. We've come out of this backside and like I'm exhausted. Like I like let's order something in. We're going Vibes to bed early. Right. Like oh my god, 
I did not come out of that being like, oh, I agree. like it's over. Yeah. I think like, St. Andrews was the toughest day, man. That was you think so? Roof. For you, because you were hustling, yeah. dude, to yeah. the green. Yeah. 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 Was yeah. Running that was, down those Poppy lanes. Was, there's no carts at, uh, at the Poppy old Poppy copped an attitude by the end. Yeah, Poppy did. Poppy stormed off. Poppy was angry. Poppy stormed off. Poppy stormed off St. Andrews. Stormed off. <laughs> <laughs> he cut, he, it, you know when Poppy, you know when we knew Poppy was upset? When he didn't come to dinner. Yeah, when, when, Poppy, when Poppy doesn't dinner. make it to Nando's, I was concerned. That's true. Well, it was ha- it was honestly it was twenty five percent. I was a little bothered, but it was seventy five percent. My legs and back were quitting on me. They were. I looked at him on the eighteenth. Well, was you like, were Does running. We, this? we were walking. Like, Perhaps. <laughs> That's tough. It was like we what? took a, we took a picture at the bridge. And it was like he had just already gotten up ahead and we're like, we're like ticket, like I didn't back. hear anyone yelling. I don't back know. If, oh, we definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I couldn't tell that's, if you just yeah. heard us. And heard us and we're like, I'm not walking back. No, I would have came back. Uh, we did call you though. We called you. Broke my heart a little bit. Uh, oh, I, I, don't. yeah. Pop- I had a special picture and a special moment. You would have came back. You I would have came back. I, we yelled at. We him. did we yell. We did yell. And we do have one on the bridge with you. Yeah, the kid, yeah, and uh, there's yeah. some rumors. There's some rumors about going back there Friday afternoon oh, via Rick Shields. Oh man, she I don't even. Just like he's like, you know, maybe we run it back. <laughs> it's a rumor. We just spend Friday night in the tent on on 18 too. He's, I hear that. I hear that's on like, the table. Yeah, maybe we play just gonna one set up a fucking coming out of Rick's, If and it comes 17, out of Rick's 18. mouth, do he treat St. Andrews like we treat? Correct. Chevy Chase Country Club. Yeah, yeah, like it's like it's the craziest. You know he's only played Kings Barnes twice. Yeah, once in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> played with Adam Scott and Minwoo Lee. The oh, two, the great. two videos. And Bob. So he's does like talking about sport. how much he loves it, and I was like, you know, all these courses he talks about how he loves them, and like they're great, they're great. And I'm like, how many times have you played it? And he's like three or like two. And I was like, damn, it's like you talk about it like you. Yeah, he can't get enough up. of it. And you play, it. and I was like, that makes me even more excited. The fact that he. Speak so highly of a course and has only played it two times. I think this like, course is going to be spectacular. incredible. Oh, you got a good Kings one? Kings Bonds. I've got a few. Okay, uh, we're going to go uh, over to our Q&A uh, brought to you by the Par 3 Poppy. Okay. All right, the first one comes from Ed Darkitecture. Ed Dark... Ed... 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 Architecture. Okay. <laughs> Please, can you consider your caricatures that you guys had in Edinburgh... That were sketched to be inked on balls and sold in the public. <laughs> like my, no, like oh, golf your balls. Golf from balls. Ed- on, yeah, oh. golf, balls. <laughs> golf balls. Jeez, come on, <laughs> golf balls. <laughs> yes, golf balls. Golf balls. Golf balls. <laughs> golf balls. <laughs> I don't think Perez ever wants to see that caricature again. <laughs> the fu- the funniest. I think thing. I look. I look okay. I, I look like me. <laughs> The best. <laughs> you you look pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I, do. What, what, I look like a rat. <laughs> you do. You do. I have like I this do. little mouse yeah. eating nose and teeth. Yeah. I look like a little rat. What, yeah. he, what he's referring to is when we were in Edinburgh. We uh, did I just pronounce that right? Edinburgh. 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 This guy's like, like yeah. bro. Like bro. Edinburgh. 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 Um, we got <laughs> hammered, and we decided to get our faces painted by uh, one of the artists that that does it on the street. So he was doing the three of us, and the best part was he's doing each character, and then he goes over to Perez, and Perez was like, oh, he's going to make me look like shit, like I'm in trouble here. He does his face, and Perez is like, oh, okay, it's not so bad. And Perez is watching him from the other side so he could see it going down, and then he goes to do his stomach, and Perez yeah. looks at me, and he holds on my shoulder, and he goes, I can't watch this. <laughs> he walked and he away. Walked yeah. away. Yeah, he, well, yeah, he'd gotten all of our faces, like, it's one of those guys that, like, it, you know, makes you kind of accentuates. accentuates everything, right? So, yeah, he, like, he did my face in the corner. I was like, all right, like, it's pretty wide, but I can I can live with this. <laughs> And he does your body and does this. He does your body and does this one little terrible stripe line that just like gives you a tummy. And I lost my mind. And I thought I'd, I'd kind of gotten it, like through it. And he goes like to the end. He's doing like your body, and he goes into my body. And I'm like, I can't, I can't watch what he's gonna do here. And I just, I laugh. Even his hands that you gave you were yeah. He gave me big, big, big fat like sausage paws rolls too. Yeah. yeah. And we're, what? And we're both we're both like holding our yeah. yeah. Why are we both holding our know, stomachs like terrible that? Terrible look. Yeah, it was right when he like drew like <laughs> under the neck and pressed tall that he was gonna start to go down there. He just goes, I can't watch this Bob. And then just dips. But uh yeah, maybe instead of half a day we just we do that on a on a golf ball. But yeah, I'm 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 in. I say why not? Perfect. All right, next question comes from D Sally fourteen. 
Uh, after Scotland wraps up, any ideas on the next international destination that you boys would love to see? <laughs> ideal, ideal spot you guys would like to go internationally we're, next. Uh, yeah. We're taking a break. We're taking a nice break. Contemplating Con- another big old trip. And then we're going... Are we going down under? To Australia. We're going down under? I, yeah, I, I that might. would be the spot for the international. Under? Yeah, that would be Damn, the place. That, you guys think this is a tough transition? I get it. That is way harder so is everything just flipped in reverse it is seriously you're like literally 15 hours ahead <laughs> yeah, you're, you're <laughs> almost a day ahead. you're almost you a lose full a day, day ahead if you fly there on like one day you'll yeah you'll get you'll lose i a think day. they're 15 hours ahead so like you're almost if you leave on wednesday day. you show up on friday yeah that is wild yeah, yeah. It's it's that is a big there, boy transition awesome. yeah it really will i think we i see a lot of um I see a lot of messages from people in Australia. Uh, my own merch. I, I get a lot of orders from people in Australia. I think we have a big. You're following. shipping to Australia. Yeah, yeah. I ship, I ship what to Australia. Is shipping charge for that. Australians are plug the best. Plug, I don't know. I, I don't know. But Australians we, we have, are awesome. We have a lot of love. I think we, you know the drinking and the shitty golf and the having a good time. I think it fits with what they. They're what cool. They are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, so. I've been there. I, I think it makes sense. I've been throughout most of the country. This guy it's has awesome. lived ten different lives. It's has un- tickets been there too? No ticket. You've had talk to about it. Tickets like have, twenty yeah. different <laughs> lives. <laughs> spent a month there. Of course, of course you did. Why yeah. did you said? Why did you spend a month there? What did you do out there? I was. It's part of the same trip. I was. I went to Fiji, New Zealand, and um, <laughs> and Australia for a month each. I spent three months abroad. Jesus, damn. It was part of it. It was getting school credits. <laughs> I didn't get many of those credits, but it was supposed to be for school credits. What did you? Uh, did you Sydney? enjoy it? <clears throat> I did love it. Yeah, it's a great. Yeah, it's, it's a great. I like New Zealand a little bit more. It's it's a beautiful country, yeah. but yeah, I'll show you. People are great. really friendly too. Have you got to do it. Yeah. Guests of the Australian Golf Association. Look, by all means, ticket. You could be our liaison. Sure, sure, sure. Next Man. question. Next question. Jack Gonzalez, seventeen, wants to know who won the ping pong game between Bob and FB. Oh. FB. It never happened. FB? I think it happened, no? <laughs> Not a full match. <laughs> what are you doing? We've gotten a lot of these questions. Yeah, I, I the see them all the time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean... It wasn't I regulation could, table. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was not regulation table. I got, I, got beat, <laughs> I got Bob beat me handily on a small ping pong table. That's what happened. Fair enough. <laughs> and I, I, look, I look forward to playing ping pong for real wow is that, is that the last time you both have played ping yes. pong? for real <laughs> <laughs> everything i hit was long it was a short table i mean like it's facts but your lack of adjustment was i <laughs> gotta adjust on the table why would table i why would i it's like not the like sport though it's like adjusting to a 20 foot rim in basketball yeah but if you're <laughs> not, like i'm a good shooter but i can't adjust if to a 20 foot rim and you're playing pickleball you're gonna have to yeah adjust. That, that would be oh, like it's different equipment <laughs> You wouldn't use a tennis ball and a tennis racket on a, on a it, pickleball court. It would court. be like going to a pitching butt and still using your drive. Yes, yeah, exactly. That's true. Like, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't adjust. All right, yeah. We're about to get it I mean, going. You did. I mean, your style of game is such that you could. You're, you, you're, you're a backboard. You just kind of you bump and you bump and you bump. I hit winners, dude. Wow, winner. we got to film it. I lost handily on a small table. That will never <laughs> be filmed. That vi- that will never be that will never be filmed. What the ping pong match? Instagram yes. live? I thought it was already filmed. It's, it's, it is. It's, 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 look, we're not going to tell you where that match is, <laughs> but it's out there. But it's in there. It's out uh, there somewhere on so on YouTube, <laughs> hidden within so another it's an video. Egg. It's there. It's an Easter egg. The brilliant, you know, find it. Find it. The brilliant People show. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop, picks, stop, stop! Live stop. stream. Shut the hell up! People have found it. What are you doing? Let Easter me, egg. Let me hit you boys with one more. All right, take it. All right. Um, AT Pick wants to know: Can we get Jed on cameo? I'd pay good money for Whoa. a happy birthday. Go fuck yourself from me. <laughs> I've been yeah, telling. I told you. Yeah, I, I have been best. telling Jed that he needs to go on cameo. They're like, <laughs> even if say you get booked five times in a week, like that, that's your dinners there. It would be the best. Yeah. I, 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 I'm gonna when I hit like. When I get to like fifty thousand on Instagram, I will do a cameo. So let me get that referral fee. 
That's all you Dude. got. Just let me get that. What will you charge? Yeah, Bob, yeah What's what? going to be your, your charge? What would I charge? Um, I don't know. What would I charge? Like, $69. Yeah. <laughs> no, it would probably. What would I do? What, what do you think you know what you should do? What did you start when you Just when go you were way over me. Just charge yeah, like $1,000. Like $1, yeah. like and I know every single request is going to be like, can you tell my friend to go fuck himself? Yeah, can you tell you me to go do, fuck should you, should you, you should tell this guy? You'll love it. Hey, go fuck yourself. Just says $199.99 and just makes one cameo. Hey. Go fuck, fuck yourself. yourself. <laughs> yeah, he would he would turn it in like with like a minute left in the cameo. Like he's only got like a minute left to do the cameo. It'd Speaking of cameos, second. FP hopped out of Rick Shields' cart yesterday to bang one out in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 24 hour and it's expired and in five minutes. Loving it. He loved yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, it was a 24 hour one. I had to get that one done. Yeah, Meanwhile, Matt said it. I've never felt that way about a cameo. I am the very worst on cameo. Yeah. Uh, to the point where I, I have to make a I have to make a decision. I'm at a crossroads. With that with that being said, by the way, for the question, I didn't realize like there can't be a demand for cameos for me like there's oh yeah, there, yeah. Oh, yeah. you yeah. think there's yeah. a demand yeah. for cameos so yeah. if there's a demand Especially for cameos then I will them. do it Especially when I'm missing them supply and demand you get the rebound you get the rebound supply and demand I'm not, can't afford I, Bob I miss it. I mean, I say, I say, Daz, Daz misses it, and then you get it. You I get say, the I say, go fuck yourself to you guys for free. I may <laughs> as well like get, leftovers. I may as well get paid for it. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Matt was doing. He does. Impression. You're right. He does like leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. Look at that cutie. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> the, the leftover, leftover guy. guy. Yeah, the leftover king. Damn. Damn Maybe that's like, your cameo name. The leftover king. Just, just like, eating leftovers and telling people about fuck themselves. There's nothing worse that may of all the things that that might be the lowest being called the leftover guy is one oh, of the no, things. To put in context, leftover king. We were so. in Edinburgh we, we one night. We spoke about it on the last pod. It's oh, we all, don't about worry it, yeah. about it. Yeah, hey, go play ping pong. Why don't you guys go play Matt, ping pong? What's the situation with these chicken selects? Uh, who's yeah? What's what's going on over here? Fries. Uh, are those anybody's? <laughs> um, they're yours, Jet. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I saw that? Jet How carry on a casual conversation. Stand there. Not breathe heavy. <laughs> he ate five chicken selects, two French fries, I did. a wrap. I banged, a out, wrap. A, I banged no, out a cameo. No, it was a burger. It was a burger. It was a, and a burger. Yeah. And a chicken sandwich. And I could and a Diet Coke. And I could have gone for more. The thing is, yeah. too, like uh. you'll you'll give Jet like a bite of something, and then you won't see Pack for a long time. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't just take a bite, like he just That's has yeah, it. it's not a bad point. We had Indian one night, the last night there. I, and I don't I don't really eat like Indian like that. I got like one Indian place back home that has like one dish that I really like, and of course, because that's <laughs> who crazy, I am. Dude. Um, so I was like, All right, I'm gonna just get some chips, some fries. I banged them, and um, you know, I, like that's what I was gonna eat. And it, and I just they're like sitting there and like <laughs> Jet's eating his food, and he's just like we grab some fries every once in a while. And I was like, Dude, you I said something to me, yeah, well, no, I was like, did, but I said it really late, and I was like, you know, a couple grab, like, he can have some fries for sure. But it was like. It was a certain point where I was like, oh, he thinks these fries yes. are for him. Are <laughs> yeah, they're table. communal. Well, in yeah. fairness and and to me. My, that's my dinner. In like, fairness to me, most people's main meal is not a of fry. Of course. Yeah, of course. So I thought it was <laughs> yeah, just no, for no, everybody. No, no, no. You, you <laughs> and you kind of like, yeah. I didn't you, freak out on you. It wasn't no, like but what it was, you thinking. It was like a, a, it was like a Jets eating my meal. Like, it was yeah. like, yeah. Well, I was like, damn, dude. Jets eating my dinner. Yeah. If you want somebody, if you want somebody's food, you go to you go to Katsi because oh, Katsi's yeah. very Katsi he offers, shares it. He yeah. really does. He's really good about that. Um, I don't often order too but much. But he wants you to know what a great order he has. <laughs> yes, he does. That's, That's right. why yes, he wants he does. you. How good is that, Bob? Yeah, it's yeah. good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, Katsi yeah. did good with that order. Yeah, yeah. I told you. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Or to like get the, the chicken jiggy masala. If Katsi recommends a food place, <laughs> or if like he picks a restaurant, if you're like trying a restaurant. Every step of the way, he will be like, "Man, Bob, the service is really good here." No, like, "Man, Bob, the coffee's really good." No, like, he <laughs> wants them to do good so bad, like they would have yeah. to deliver an awful meal in order for him to be like, "No, this place sucks." If we're now, if it's me that recommends it, he will nitpick every single no, thing. No, that's not it, fair. <laughs> take it. <laughs> take it. Does he, does he not? I don't know if I nitpick if it's every him, little thing. It'll be like, it'll be like, yeah, it's okay. Like, it's all right. He's got he's got a lot more wiggle room for. It. Places or people that he is he is oh, brought into the fold. In my defense, I would say like ninety percent of the times I suggest something, it's normally good. When it comes to food, you're very good with that. You're, yeah, you're very that's good one of my that. high strong points. Um, I hate to shut us down, but we got to head over to Rick's now. He's got to go surprise. play the next course. He's got a surprise for us, so we're, we're able to fire a pot in. Um, I thought he would just tell us what it is. No, like you would do the surprise in reverse. <laughs> 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 told us on the front end and then we'd have to figure out what time to go you know what I mean? 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a, a ton of content to come. I think we're going to try and get Rick on the podcast tomorrow. Um, it's been another edition of Bob the Sports Podcast. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Clap it up, boys. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up.